This video is sponsored by Christoph Ray for Excellent Low Poly Horror Games. Check the link in the description below for some of his works. Previously on Between the Stars. You know, I knew another captain of the Republic very closely. We fought side by side when the... <laughs> oh my god. And so the journey continues. Welcome back to the Signifier, y'all. My name is Fire Knight, and welcome back to Between the Stars. I know it has been a very hot minute, but when we last left off our band of miscreants, um, we were able to pick up a new me temporary member, hopefully temporary, of our squad, known only as Hoggins. Yes, the same mook that we met in the prologue. Um, but what I want to do right now, while we are here in Mulhoyu, is not do a contract, we do have to go to Zia, obviously. Um, I have no idea where that is. Oh, and uh, Mamori asked us. We do have to go here at one point. But before we do that, and continue that, I want to go to... Kemi, and go to the shipyard, because I think we have enough to get a new ship. And I really do want to do some more exploration on how to um, up our stats, up our armor, and everything like that. So we kind of did a curse for you last time, but I don't exactly want to go too far into the plot just yet. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is probably get caught by band of ban bandits. So we're going to go over here, straight into the planet, and take a look at ships. Now, I think, actually, once we actually buy a ship, we'll actually have the ability to switch back and forth at the hangar between uh, the Mercury Thallium and ship number two. <clears throat> but this game's gonna get incredibly hard, as we saw in the last episode, or two episodes ago, when we did a Bounty Hunter mission and we had, like, eight ships that completely made mincemeat of us. Okay. Just came out of the hyper jump, that's okay. Come on, take it to the surface. We know there's life down there. We've been down there before. There we go. Okay. So. There is our exit, the shipyard, and the hangar. So let's go to the shipyard really quickly um, and see what we can do to switch things up a bit. Oop, hang on, sorry. Get back to that in a second. Okay, so we got a Mercury Thallium. Let's look at this in more detail now. So we have our resistance, which is bare minimal, but our shields are high, as well as our shield recharge. So we can look at that for comparison to, say, the Infinite Sky, Astral Sky. Everything's kind of medium, but our engine power is nil, versus the Thallium, where we've got a high engine power and a high agility. I'm just not that good at it. Cosmos. Okay, so we don't have a lot to play with right now. Mercury Thallium, Infinite Sky. And this one costs 10,000 creds. We got 13,000 creds. It looks like this, honestly, is one of our better ones. Unless we need to go for the... Whoa, okay, the Rebellion Coop. Everything's a little bit better. Except our shield recharge and our engine power. I kind of want to go for this one. We'll lose 9,000 cred. Actually, humor me. There we go. Blackbird. You know what? Let's take this one for a test drive. Okay, cool. Okay. We also have some new armaments we can do, so let's look real quick. We got the Light Can of the Republic. That does uh, 46 DPS. 6 DPS, 30 DPS, 45. But it's got a longer range. Let's go ahead and... Oh, 8? Hell no. Um, That's 6, so at the very least we can put our class 2 down here. 
flak cannon, 8 D 6 DPS. Switch this over at 8 DPS. Oh, we can't. Oh, we gotta move that down here, and then we can do the interceptor for 5 down here. And once we get enough scrap, we can upgrade that. Crew members, we got everybody. Uh, we've already done all the upgrades. Tasks, we've got the control of Zia. So let's just see what we can do out here. Now, and actually, before we leave, check this action out. I want to check one thing. Let's go to the hangar. So we got the Thallium that we can switch to if we want to. But also, the Rebellion Coop has more of an armament, so we should be able to do more damage from this bad boy. So now... Sorry, uh, I recently posted on social media something. I'll worry about that later. Flip that around. Let's now take this for a test drive by going to... the Allied Station. Okay. Target marked. It's a little smoother, actually. It's a little slower. And we came out of hyperspace quickly. Once again, I wonder if these coming out of, like, supercharged jumps is RNG-related or just merely we ran out of power. And I also want to see if we do have any side quests to kind of get our cred back up. If this doesn't work out, we can always go back to the uh, Thallium. But we need something with a little more durability as these skirmishes get a little more hot. Denver, Docking Bay 19. We are at cruising depth, Captain. Kick your boots off. My house is your house. There we go. This, is... this feels like it's a little bit heavier, a little slower response time. But you know what? I'm okay with this. Request permission to dock. Station control tower here. Okay. Dock at the assigned bay. So this Over. is not the kick your boots off. My house is your house. Right by the gun shop. Okay, so coming up on docking bay 19. I think it's this one here. I think it is. Looking for the cone. There it is. Bam. <laughs> Easy does it, Captain. Easy does it. Oh yeah, this is more this is noticeably more clunky. So let's take a look real quick. Uh we can do another delivery missions. Bounty hunter, Sado Salik. I think this is the one where we really got nerfed last time. But let's see, this one has to be delivered to Tofa sector. Yeah, let's go ahead and just do this. And while we're at it... We still have 4,000 creds. That ain't bad. Is there anything else we can scrap? Cooler? No. I still need to figure out how to do the hotkeys on that stuff. Research lab. Yeah, let's go ahead and research this. It offers a quick weapon to fix overheating. That's good news. Okay, so now we are off to Tofa. Let's do this delivery run. Get a few hundred cred. Probably got 300. That's okay. Tofa. Oh, yes. I forgot about Tofa. The dead sector. I think that's where we actually found the, uh, the Genesis. Yeah. Okay. Just cruising along. Things are looking all right. Do we go to the planet, or do we go to the ally station? Building better worlds. Okay, we're going to the planet. And 
then we're off to get. I really get the uh, holy crap. Okay, that definitely was a. Here we go. Activate the shields. Let's finish them off. Holy crap, jackets, Captain. Okay, so they definitely do overheat a lot sooner. Okay, this thing packs a punch. Maybe we gotta find something else that's a little more. Does it overheat? One of the enemy well. ships has been destroyed. Yeah. Oh yeah, these are children of the sun ships for certain. Look at this way, though. We can get some scrap. Oh, snap, dragon. He's done it. Excellent work, team. Are you all okay? Let's finish this delivery. Oh, boy. We lost 200 cred? Captain, it's happened again. We've had some empty supplies on the floor of the cargo hold. I've asked the crew, but they say they haven't grabbed any supplies. Again? Really? Okay, let's take an aptitude test. Oh, come on. Damn it, she won't escape next time. Ugh. We lost 200 cred, so we're probably going to get that back after we deliver this mission. Thank you, RNG. Took some damage, but we took a lot. It was better than I thought. We have to watch our overheating systems for sure. But otherwise, yeah, I feel like the ship's going to be pretty good. So then we'll go to the Allied Station and then warp to the next system and get Huggins out of our team. Then I promise we'll do some Bounty Hunter missions. Delivery address that appears on the package of metric assemblers. Cool. Oh, we gained 656 credits. Okay. That works for me. I'll take it. Um... So the humor, okay, so humor me, we got the thallium still we can do. We're just gonna keep with this. And then we're going to make for the ship, or for the allied ship, that is. Find it. Eh, oh, we don't want any suspicious activity. Where it be at? Are she blows, Captain. Sorry, I'm extremely tired right now, so there might be some more goofiness happening as we go aft. Let's push onwards. I know I could be doing these random, like, events like suspicious activity and distress calls, but honestly, it doesn't really do much for the plot and doesn't really do much for our cred. I mean, we'll probably do more later on as we start getting more and more um, activities as things go out, but... I wanted to kind of do some secured uh, dog fights that I know are manageable to kind of get the lay of the land. <clears throat> Once again, every time I hear Tofa, I think of the game Signal from Tolva. Docking Bay 14. Kick your boots off. My house is your house. Sorry. I'm smiling, I know. Republic ship requesting docking go. permission, please. 
Welcome, Captain. Kick your boots off. My house is your house. Thank you. There we go. Let's ride ourselves a little bit because we were kind of. Is this where we go right here? Yeah, Docky Bay 14. Right between the screws. Oop, no wrong button, wrong button. Hang on. There we go. Down. There we go. Heal that stuff up. Sorry, I'm just trying to get back on this stuff with uh, Pink as we finalize some stuff for Project Dusk. Anywho, back to this. <laughs> no, we're not going to dock. We are going to heal. It's 100. There we go, 104 cred. We got 5,352 credits. That's it. That ain't bad. Um, let's also look a little more in detail. Shield damage, 630. We need to get some more scrap here for sure. Sub. Actually, let's go to the crew members real quick. No, we can't do that. We're not ready for up... Actually, can we do upgrades? Oh, we got a couple in reserve now. No, 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 no. We want to... Why? Oh, just because... Um... There we go. I know. Wanna have everybody. There we go. Okay, we don't want to put people in reserve. That ain't right. Okay, um boop. Let's do a save job. And then if you give me one second, I will be right back. Right, so as you can see, y'all, we are back in the Thia sector. I'm gonna get to what happened, but I'm sure you can probably deduce precisely what transpired between the last switch off and switch back on. My first order of business is I want to get to this allied station before I explain things in case I am intercepted by the Children of the Sun. Republic ship requesting docking permission, please. Welcome, Captain. Kick, Kick your boots, boots off. off. My house is your house. Okay, so as you can probably guess what happened was we are getting ready to make way to Zaya with Huggins. Um... And the game crashed. Of course, the bad news is we were able to... Okay, let's start with the good news. Sorry, I'm a little bit flustered right now because we did quite a chunk. The bad news is... The good news is we only lost about 20 frig... 20 minutes of gameplay. The bad news is we were able to rescue Banner on Zaya. Um, come on, a little further. Give me a moment to... Come on, you can do it. There we go. Okay. So, we were able to uh, rescue Dr. Banner by touching down on Zaya with the help, ironically, of Huggins, uh, from which we were able to break into the factory, which, by the way, Zaya is now in control of the Children of the Sun. There was quite the battle, a text-heavy battle, <clears throat> which is why my voice sounds so hoarse, but we were able to get out of there before more Children of the Sun arose and came after us. So I made a quick jump back to Thaya, and here we are. The good news is we only lost about 20 minutes of footage, which kind of sucks. Um, 
but it is what it is. Um, so let's also go here to sick bay to get these two people back up and online, and then I'll go into explaining a few other things. <clears throat> right, so Huggins, not Huggins, Banner was able to, uh, was arrested and captured by the Children of the Sun so he could build this ultimate weapon um, that would basically destroy all sentient life in the galaxy, namely the um, Republic, <clears throat> but it seems like the um, <clears throat> the Children of the Sun are going to be staging a pretty big coup pretty soon. Uh, also, one other thing that happened before that was we actually lost the cautious attributes, and now our ship is more agile, so hopefully that will help quite a bit. All of our attributes are still going pretty strong, so while we are doing that... Let's see if we can buy. I mean, obviously, we only got 52 cred, 100 cred. Captain, well, we only have one captain. Okay, that's fine for me. Nothing in the prison. Um, bounty hunters. Delivery. It's in the chemi sector. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Oh, yeah, and one other side quest that we did was we can actually now take on Greed, who actually was the one who started the Setar Resin Black Market Trade which is how we happened upon, um, what's his name? Not Barry. Our other crew member who was sick with it. But right now, we have to flee from the planet before the Trump of the Sun ships hunt you down. I don't know what that means. I feel like maybe we have to go to Tofa or wherever HQ is. But let's look around, really. We still have to go to that in consequences, but now that we're healed up, let's, before we do that, let's go to Kemi, drop that off, and then go try the Greed mission, and then attempt to go back to the Zaya planet system, <clears throat> and see what transpires. Boop. We need some cred, because we've lost a chunk of creds between um, some of these RNG events, namely the Distress Signal ones. Like, I think one of them we lost 500 cred, but we gained a new weapon system, so that's not always a bad thing. So let's deliver this, and then go to Mohoyu and see if we can end that particular instance with greed and end the Setar Riz and trade, courtesy of our sick dude. It's not Barry. Oh, it is Barry. No, Barry is, uh, is Huggins. Comms team, request permission to dock. Now, the sad thing was, like, when we rescued Banner, I was actually going to do Station a control tower here. switch off dock and switch back on back again, over. but I also was just going to close out the uh, episode, so... Great. Computer's working against me. But I really do enjoy this game, and I hope y'all do as well. It takes a lot for me to enjoy a space sim. This game kind of covers all the bait. Hello. Come on. Switch over here. There we go. And in we go, and that mission. Uh, also, on a side note, um, thank you so much to everybody who has been really cool with the Project Dusk things. Um, I really do appreciate it. Um, we're coming to the end of it, so hopefully... Okay, we got 679 cred. That's good news. Space video game merchandise without any, inc any incidences. That's good news. Um, we are coming close to the end of it, so once again, the GoFundMe is still going to be up a little bit longer. Um, I've set some goals up, uh, some reward tiers, so if you do wind up helping me hit a goal, check my Twitter. Um, you guys will see all the kinds of rewards, including a speed run of Dark Souls. And while we're there, let's go back to the commercial zone. I want to look at Sick Bay right quick. 
We're getting there. 71%. Lemoyne. Cool. We're getting creds back. Um, shield generator. I still don't know how to do this stuff. I really don't. Ion reactor. Engine power plus 10. Radar. That's not bad. Better damage. Okay, we'll worry about those later. For now, let's do a save job. And then we'll go off to Mulhoyu. Yeah, you can see all the save jobs right here for control of uh, Zaya. I'm probably going to regret going to Mulhoyu, but since it's a side quest, let's just see what happens. If we die, we can always come back to it another time. Graphics are solid. I really do enjoy this. And I do love our new ship, the Blackbird. It really does a spanking good job. As we speed towards the burrow. And I do apologize if I'm checking my phone a lot. And once again, I'm trying to just tie some loose ends up with pink before we commence the move. Out west, I'm really excited about it, guys. I really am. I can't wait to take you guys on the journey. Like I said, I will be doing some short videos on Twitter and my uh, Discord. And yes, once again, link is in the description below to my public Discord channel. You don't have to be a member of the Patreon Cabal for it. You just gotta sign up and not be a dick. Alright, let's see what happens. The fold. Alright, here we go. You come down from the ship in disguise to avoid raising suspicion. The last thing you need in the middle of that rat's den was to attract attention, and a captain of the Republic with his crew would fire all the alarms. Okay, so yeah, Barry is our guy. Huggins was Howard. Um, Greed was hiding in one of the old buildings of the Children of the Sun, built before the Fold became the capital of the crime it was today. Many of these barracks, which had been used to the house to house the city's troops for years after its founding, were now in the hands of the area's criminal organizations. Let's go to the borough. Even if you're disguised, you catch several bad looks. The people there didn't usually see as many, so many people together in the middle of the city, much less transporting a heavy chest among them. After all, nobody chose the fold as a destination for pleasure, and all the businesses that could be handled at the place smelt like death and danger from afar. You get lost several times between the alleys until you reach a locked gate. That was the place you were looking for. It's knock. Uh, the gate opens automatically, and you go inside. The truth is that it was much better than you expected. By the name, you had imagined a pig full of drunks and drug addicts, but that place wasn't that bad. It was even better if you compared to the state of the rest of the city. Lovely. Two men welcome you to escort you to Greed. You go up the stairs with the chest to a door that seems to give to his office. When you open the door, you find him sitting and smoking a cigar behind his desk. At his side, guarding him is a huge sitar. Well, even bigger than his own kind. I'm not even trying to read that. I have absolutely no idea what he's saying. I'm not even trying to. It's kind of almost racist. The creature raises his hand and makes a high-pitched sound for a second. Relax, buddy. I invited him. The captain brings us a gift, isn't that right? You let a, you let both of them approach the chest. Even Greed's own escort seemed uncomfortable to have that creature so close. The setar opens the chest and checks the vials of the samples. Once again, not going to repeat it. He seems especially happy and Greed smiles from ear to ear. What's it saying? Oh, I have absolutely no idea. It's impossible to understand what he says, but he seems happy with the cargo, and that's very good for us, Captain. While they're talk in talking, you're going through the room trying to plant something. Greed and the two men on your back surely wouldn't be a major problem. The alien creature, almost four meters tall, yikes, does seem like an issue. So it's good quality resin? Brilliant quality, I'd say. This captain is pure extractions. Only a sitar would withstand its consumption. A small dose in a human could be enough to kill him. Don't you think that's incredible? This put me in a very good mood. I must say my initial plan was to kill you without com compassion, once you brought the load to me, but today I feel generous. Leave the load here and you can go. Are you threatening us? I think you're a bit too relaxed. We're not afraid of your pet. Don't get confused, Captain. Your life is a present that I offer you by mere pleasure. A snap of my fingers would be enough for my companion to wipe you and your crew off the map. Did you think I would pay you again for my own merchandise? That would be a very bad investment, Captain. I didn't think you could have been so naive. The man makes a sign with his hand and the sitar heads towards you. Get them out of here and try not to break any bones. Actually, go for it. I don't really care. You don't have what it takes. I dare you to try that and take us out. Oh, here we go, y'all. Oh, God. Before we do that, let me just check something very quickly.
All right, let's see what happens. If we can take out Greed, oh boy howdy. Roll it. Cool, we got some shields up. Bam. Okay. The Centaurs will be the hard part, but if we can get out the take out the ads, we should be okay. Okay, shield up. That's good news for us. Oh, snap. Oh, Snapdragon. Okay, we're doing this, y'all. He's done it. That was the last one. <laughs> Eat it. You unfold your weapons and start the shooting. The sitar throws the desk towards you as it were a piece of paper. With the dust that rises, you can barely see anything. Complete chaos is made while you see Greed taking cover. The creature advantage hitting everything at its path. The first one he reaches is one of Greed's men, whom he doesn't hesitate to crush with a swipe. The man is tossed like a puppet against the wall, leaving a huge bloodstain. Your crew focuses on the alien, who complains after being shot. After emptying several clips in him, it emits a noise that freezes your blood, and he suddenly faints. Greed, I think it's time to reconsider the deal. You pass over the Setar's corpse in the direction of Greed, who seems much friendlier after the shooting. I may be interested in buying the merchandise. I can pay you. He doesn't have enough time to finish this sentence. As soon as you get to him, you hit him with the butt of the gun and the center of his dumb-looking face. I love it. The sarcasm in this game is spot on. He gets on all fours and you drag him to the chest in the middle of the room, pulling him from the collar of his suit. Don't kill me, I'm much more worth alive. You're under arrest. We have to do the right thing. The crew places his handcuffs on him. As soon as they try to gag him, he speaks again. This will make a difference, Captain. I'll be back on the streets before you realize it. I have powerful friends. Not this time. I'll personally ensure you get sent to the dome. <laughs> Trust me, after a week with Commander Thompson, you'll wish I'd killed you tonight. Greed goes silent as you gag him. It wasn't a bluff, though the man would have gotten out in any other stellar prison. This time, he was going to the dome, the highest security prison in the Interstellar World of Republic, a hole he'll never get out of. We're done here. And we got the shipment. The crew begins to place explosives all over the building. Whatever was in there, you don't intend to leave it up to anyone else to take Greed's place. I mean, extremely simple. The explosives were spe specially designed to respond to your ratio signal, radio signal. You could <coughs> leave everything prepared with the greatest tranquility to enjoy the pyrotechnic spectacle while you were already in the distance. You empty the chest to put the immobilized man and transport him to the ship. The last thing you needed was for someone to recognize him in the streets. Taking advantage of the night, you sneak away without attracting any attention and wait until you are far enough away, far away enough to detonate the explosive charges. Behind you, you can see a huge pillar of smoke that rises violently into the sky as the city resonates. We lost the shipment. He has done it. Y'all, let's do a save job. And then with that in mind, I'll be right back. Right, okay, so I am not making the same mistake I did last time. I am going to... Figure out what I'm going to be doing. We're not doing distress signals anymore, because that's what causes us to lose a lot of cred. Um... Where's the dome exactly? Oh yeah, we can't go to Tacit Stell anymore. Kemi, no. I guess the only thing left we can really do is to go to Mahoya, or is go to Memoria Asta and deal with the children. This is not gonna go well. Maybe we gotta go back to the Allied Station? I don't know. But we definitely needed to flee the whole system before anything else happened, because that way we were not going to get attacked, and then we would definitely, definitely get hosed by the children. Oh boy, here we go. Captain to the bridge, please. Captain to the bridge. Uh, you're on the bridge looking at space in complete silence. Your eyes are narrow and you think it's time to sleep for a while. The communication system is activated and May wakes you up. Oh yeah, we forgot to, forgot to do sick bay. Uh, the communication systems are act Okay. Uh, you lurch out of your slumber and it takes a few seconds for you to understand what it's saying. Captain, it's Barry. He's opened the gate to the prison room. Become alert. In one of those cells was Greed, the man at the head of the organization that distributed Sitar Resin at Barry's station. He, he himself asked you, almost as a personal favor, to go in search of the man. He blamed him directly for everything that happened with Ashley. Oh, no. 
This can be good. Run towards the cells. Idiot. I trust Barry. Run. You run straight to the brig as fast as you can. You open the hatch and enter the room and see Barry pointing a gun at Greed. I'm sorry, Captain, but I have to do it. It was all his fault. What are you saying? I don't even know you. According to Greed. Barry, look at me. You don't have to do this. Barry, if you shoot him, you're forcing me to give you in. I must do it for Ashley. Oh, God. Here we go. Uh, I must do it for Ashley. I can't let this man live any longer. Come on, boy. I'm just pretty sure you've never fired a gun in your entire life. I'm sorry, Captain. Barry, killing him won't make you feel any better. Barry, drop the weapon. Greed, shut up or I'll shoot you myself. We gotta make a charisma roll of plus six or higher. Of course we get a one. Oh, that's, that's a seven. He's done it. Barry lets go of the gun and bursts into tears. It seems that he's understood that he was supposed what he was supposed to do. I'm so sorry, Captain. It's just that... I know, Barry. I know. You've done well. Tomorrow will begin with your training. Hire Barry Collins as a specialist. Hire him as a scientist. Hire him as an engineer. Scientist. You take him away from the room to talk to him for a while. He seems repentant and looks to you with shame. Caps, thanks, Captain. You saved me again. Your new life begins here, Barry. It depends on what you want to do with it. I'm going to bed. Woo! We got some experience, though. And now, we deal with the children. Because you know that's about to happen. Captain, we've been found! Two children's ships are approaching! We've found Banner. Keep the ship at bay and send our coordinates to Commander Novak. Kill them! Don't let them reveal our position! Damn it to hell. Gotta take out the ad first. How do I keep overheating? Don't answer that question. I gotta get a better coolant on this. One for one. I feel like this is gonna be a several ways. He's done it. Whew! It's almost too easy. I don't like how that was, where that We've was. We've been looking for you, Captain. I was yeah. looking forward to thanking you personally for what you have done in Zia. I can't believe you left without saying goodbye. It must have been very hard to know that we rescued Dr. Banner right from under your nose, Novak. Does Nardos know that it only took one Captain of the Republic to finish off your men and rescue the prisoners? Don't worry. I'm sure he'll be more than happy when I bring you before him, dead or alive. You should not compare us to the slag from the processing plant. All hands to battle stations! Like I said, that was almost too easy. Don't play victory so soon, Captain. Get better back, one way or another. You'll have to go through me first. Dr. Banner will come to us if he wants to see his wife alive again. I can almost hear his wife's screams as we cut her apart piece by piece. Anna! Damn you! You're nothing but cowards! You won't get out of this one alive, Novak. No, you won't. Not as long as the Republic has something to say about this. Just watch, Huggins can wind up being a double agent now. You heard them, Captain. They're after Anna. We have to get back to Enclip at once. We can't let them capture Anna. You've seen what they are capable of in Zia. We won't let the children capture it. You have my word. May, engines to full power. We need to get there before Nardos' soldiers do. Before we do that, though, we gotta heal up. We're gonna make the run. Now we gotta go back to Mulhoyu. Oh great, here we go again.
Control tower, we request permission to dock. Station yeah, control okay. tower here. Thank you, Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Woo! It's getting heavy over here, y'all, I'll tell you that much. Holy crap. I'm glad we took care of the greed mission, though. Maybe. We're not done yet, I don't think. I feel like we're gonna have to finish this one off first. Bam. Okay, heal up, Mulhoyu. Let's do this. Yeah, buddy. Only 69 cred. Heh, <laughs> nice. Uh, sick bay. Oh, yeah, we got a Kim, Yvonne, and Song. Can we do any leveling? Not yet. Barry, though? Oh, yeah, we can level. Let's go ahead and do medicine. Song. Let's do investigation. What about Captain Wong? No, not yet. Let's make for Endcliff. Full capacity. Blackbird, let's do this. We'll finish this quest up and then call it a session. So if you want to get one more recording in today, if possible. And for now, let's do a save job. Which we can't. Oh yeah, because we're coming out of hyperspace. We're coming home, Anna. It's happening. Oh. What the? What are those Republic ships oh, doing? shoot. May, set up communications and send a transmission request. Yes, sir. Sending transmission request. I got a bad feeling about this. The bridge terminal lights up while the transmission is waiting. A few seconds later, displays. And you see a man with a familiar face. You had seen that captain at headquarters during the war council. Captain Wong, we've been waiting for you. And why is that? I have orders from the Admiral. Step aside. Negative. I'm sorry, but we can't let you land. We have orders to take you to Admiral Mason. Admiral Mason? The true defenders of the Republic had been forced to give up Flint and his dogs. Obey, and the Admiral Kendra Mason will explain everything to you. Otherwise, we have no other choice but to use force. Careful, Bradley. You're playing with fire. That sounds like a threat to me. It's a warning. You, we will not allow you to hand over Dr. Banner to Flynn. Before that, I... Before, or before that, I would rather see you perish by your own hands. You choose either... We do it in a good way or the bad way. We have numerical superiority. It's impossible for someone like you to stand up to so many captains. How do I know it's not a trap? You're nothing but filthy traitors. Here we You've go. You've chosen the wrong captain. Your loyalty will be your undoing. We can't all adjust our ideals as conveniently as you can. Right? Finish them. We'll show them how a real Republic soldier fights. Like a bunch of cowards? You made it. Admiral Mason will usher in a new era of prosperity for the Republic. You won't live to see it, traitor. One for one. Well, we don't have the Thallium right now, because that would have just kind of been up to suck.
Two for two. Okay, let's get rid of this freaking ad. Destroying us all! When he sees that you've wiped out his fleet, Captain Bradley stops the attack and you receive a new signal coming into your terminal. I'm sorry, Captain, I have some bad news for you. You really thought you could get rid of us so easily? Bring the prisoner. Two men come into the scene, pushing woman in chains. She looks up at you, allowing you to see her face. Sorry, John, I couldn't do anything. Damn coward. You're a dirty rat, Bradley. Anna! Damn you all! Don't you dare to even touch her or you'll pay dearly. You don't have to be rude, Doctor. If you want to see her alive again, I suggest you follow our instructions. We will send you the coordinates for the meeting with Mason. Once my crew and I are at a safe distance, I would make sure to keep the, all of this away from Flint's snout. At the slightest sign that the Admiral's soldiers are heading towards our position, don't doubt that I myself will be the one to execute your wife. Son of a... Damn it! We have to go after them, Captain. You can't let them hurt her. Don't worry. Kendra wants you. They won't do anything to her while you're with us. We will rescue her. You have my word. Captain, we are receiving Captain Mason's ship's coordinates. The Hedron Gygax sector? I thought it was completely abandoned. Yeah. Kendra has gone through the trouble of meeting up with us in the most remote location she could find. We should inform of this, Captain. Acting alone is too risky. No, May, but we don't have a choice. If Mason finds out we've informed the Admiral, we can say goodbye to Mrs. Banner. Sacrificing one life to ensure the safety of many is statistically sound. We won't abandon her, May. Let's go to Hedron Gygax. Great. But, unfortunately, y'all, this is where we're going to be where we end today's episode. Um, we will pick back up on this. Probably, by this point, I'll be in my new location in the land of 10,000 lakes. But first, we do a heal job. Control Tower. We request permission to dock. Station control tower here. Dock at the assigned bay. Over. Oop, hang on. Positioning. Right, so thank you guys so very much um, for keeping tabs on this series and for liking this video. Um, once again, if you like this video and you want to check in more um, games similar to this, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you don't, please be give it a big thumbs down. It lets me know what works and what doesn't work. Also, I do read every comment. I try to reply to every comment, so please leave your feedback. Not just on what you like or dislike about the game, but just in general with how I do things. So, yeah, otherwise, a uh, big thank you to Christoph Frey for being a sponsor of the Signal Fire Project. If you like low-poly horror games with emphasis on character development, plot, ambience, fear factor, check him out. Link is in the description below. Guarantee you will not be let down. So, otherwise, before I call it a day, if you like the Signal Fire Project and want to find out more, links are in the description below to my Twitter page, my public Discord channel, and my temporary defunct Twitch channel, as well as my Patreon, because this would not be possible with the help of my incredibly sexy patrons, which you will see their names fly by. Uh, just for a little as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive content, such as the patron-only section of my Discord, as well as patron-exclusive uploads. And I am doing patron requests. Uh, just finishing up one right now. I'm going to be starting a new one when I get to my new location. It's going to be a good one, I'll tell you that much. So as always, a massive thank you to my patron, Cabal my gratitude truly, truly knows no bounds. So otherwise, I hope you all have a fantastic night. And always remember, keep your fires burning.